Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm James. And I'm Kelly, and it's a beautiful day here in Shanghai. Today marks the beginning of a new era here in China as all of the COVID-19 restrictions are finally taken away and are done with. For the past three years, China had been locked away from the rest of the world. Throughout the three years, we made sure to take the opportunity to travel throughout China. And what felt like forever of not being able to leave mainland China on January 8, 2023, and all restrictions were lifted. So we are celebrating today by going and exploring Shanghai. We are going on an audio guided walking tour through Shanghai, starting at the Jiao Tong University and going through the Ferguson Lake. So let's go. The first part of our tour takes us down Tai'an Road, which is filled with some of these awesome, beautiful mansions built in the 1920s by successful business merchants that lived here in Shanghai. Most of these houses are built in either a British or Spanish style, and they have a bunch of cool detail that you can see, especially on the gates, where that one has like a cool face on it. One thing that makes going on the audio tour today is we don't have to worry about going into like the compounds, getting our QR codes, not being allowed in. We can go in and see the architecture that is actually being described in this audio guide and it's, it's so great. As we were walking through the Thai Inn Road, we saw an open gate and we decided to walk in. This gate has eight Spanish style villas. As you can look behind me, they are massive. They are so pretty. Unfortunately, we can't go in them because people actually live in these now. I don't know if multiple families live in it or if it's just one big family, but no, it's, they're so cool, they're so pretty. And at the back, there's a little hotel and a cafe. But let's go across the street and look at Willow Garden and see some of their mansions. We've just walked into Willow Garden, which has 31 Western style mansions throughout this compound. One thing that's really nice about this audio guide is it tracks you via your GPS so you can just keep on walking and then it'll automatically start to play. You'll hear it and it'll just start talking about where you are where to turn. It just helps you immerse more into the architecture around you and not have to worry about a tour guide and how fast they go. <laughs> this interesting building behind me right here, which is oddly angled on this corner, shares an interesting story about the architecture here in Shanghai. During the early 20th century, as land prices started to skyrocket, developers went to mansions with large gardens and asked if they could buy the corners of them to develop property here, which, as you can see, looks quite fun. As we were walking, we were actually pretty hungry, so we stopped at a restaurant and got some pasta. But lucky for us, we can start this audio tour whenever we want. So later this week, we're gonna continue it on. So see you then. And we are back to where we ended our walking tour the other day. It's beautiful before it gets really cold next week. So let's continue the tour. Every 
place that Artura has said to go into, we have not been able to go into. It's either been closed for an event or just closed in general, or the guards say you're not allowed to enter. We know a lot of compounds are still closed down and not accepting visitors because of COVID. Walking through Wu Yuan Road, which is actually a pretty popular street with a lot of things that we would go to, but this actually used to be called the Ruma Resca, and it was home to a bunch of Catholic priests that used to live around here. Fun fact! <laughs> So we've heard the name Sun Qingling a lot and it's always been a tied with a kindergarten that we've worked by or our friends have worked at. But we actually just learned the history of the famous woman who really cared about the welfare of women and children. We went a little further and we saw these beautiful gates at the end and we came in because when you see these plaques it normally means a famous person that's lived here. So John Leping who was a famous cartoonist, lived here, and they actually have some of his cartoons alongside of the wall here. One of the things that's kind of annoying while going on this walking tour is when you go and see these buildings, you really can't see most of the building because they're all behind these big walls and you can only see the tops of them and most of the gates are closed so you can't go inside and really see the entire building so kind of sucks. That's pretty much every community, every house, it's all, they all have their own gates which, you know, we're pretty used to, but it does kind of suck when you're like, I just want to look at the architecture. <laughs> yeah. I just want to look at it. It looks pretty. But oh well. Let's keep walking. I think we're at our next stop. Inside the Shanghai Film Group, there is a Mediterranean style villa that is private property. No one can go into it. And apparently all the famous movie stars and filmmakers that are in Shanghai recording will stay here. There is a coffee shop right on the outside called M where you can go inside, get coffee and you can look more at it, but it's private. Obviously you cannot go in there and I think you can only have reservations from what the guy told us. Here one of the subdivided apartments in number 147 was the home of a famous writer. So within the French concessions, a lot of these villas over the years were taken and broken into different apartments so multiple families can live inside of it and so this spanish villa behind us we can actually go inside not now because they're closed at four um but you can go inside and actually see the french concession like old style homes i think we'll go come back here uh next week maybe or after the holiday to see what it looks like on the inside because it's so unique this architecture to a busy road. Yes. Look at this house. We are now on Wukong Road, which used to be called Route Ferguson. Uh, this road was named after the man who paid for this road himself and the founder of Jiao Tong University, Mr. Ferguson. He was American. He was an American, an art collector. It's very interesting to know that this man just was like, I want a direct way to my work. And the only way I'm gonna do it is if I pay for it myself. And he did it. This yep. is one of the most famous roads that you'll ever hear people going and walking down because of the architecture and the villas that are on it. with the French concessions here in Shanghai, you can go to 376, which is an old villa, as you can see, that has now been turned into various cafes and 
a restaurant that you could go hang out and enjoy. As we are walking through the front concessions, you can really see the unique plots of land these people were buying because the, all of the homes are either diagonal, they're skinny, or really big. It's just, they're all different sizes as you walk. And the architecture, like this one, really cool to see all of the different architecture and, type, and the styles as you walk along. And I can definitely see why um, the French Concessions is one of the most like iconic places of Shanghai and something that everyone should go to. It's free to walk around and discover it yourself or you can even go on a walking tour like we are uh, just using the WeChat. This is one of the most iconic buildings here in the French Concessions of Shanghai. It was built in the 1920s by a famous architect. But once you learn the history about it, you're going to think twice as you look at this building. During the 1940s, this building became super popular with artists and filmmakers. However, during the 1960s, it took a dark turn as it was nicknamed the diving board. During the Cultural Revolution, many of the filmmakers and artists who lived here were driven out by the Red Guard. And because of the harassment and the cruel nature of the Red Guard, they ended up taking their own lives. The weird thing about this building and how iconic it is, it's like we never learned about it. And to see that people just like take photos, wedding photos are taken here. Do they know? Do they, they know? Do they know? We have come to the end of our tour. It ends with telling us how the era of the French concessions ended with the World War II and the Japanese invading the French concession. It came with a little bit of a darker ending than we probably hoped for, but it was actually very interesting to learn about the history of Shanghai, the architecture, and just walking around and seeing the places that we go by almost every day and learning a bit more of the history and feeling more connected to yeah. Shanghai a little bit more. A little, a little more knowledgeable, yeah. a little bit like, hey, yeah, I, I know, know what, I know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and so if you are interested in going into it, it is a WeChat mini program that you have to scan this QR code to go on. It's 51 per tour and there are three different ones. We are thinking of going to the Bund. The Bund one next. And if you want to see it, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.